Hello everyone, it is Wilforce Briar. I'm sorry I haven't gotten around to uploading for a little while. Things have just gotten kind of crazy and I had driver's training and yeah. I'm going, I had like recorded a bunch of videos. I just have to like find the time to upload them. So I thought I would do kind of an easy little video I could put together for you guys on my newest purchases over the span of the last few months and I guess I'll just show them to you guys so first of all I got two horses from Lady Off Model Horse Sales Pages this is the first one the Irish draw it and he is very pretty He is also my first on the mold, and I just love this horse. I needed to get him before he was, you know, gone from stores. And now I understand why everyone loves the Cleveland Bay mold so much. He's got these beautiful brown eyes, and yes, I named him Ronin, or Dream Spectrum. And he did really good in the photo show I entered him in, so I'm very proud of this boy. He's very pretty. And the other horse I got with him is this boy right here. I got Chance, who I named Ozzy. And he is very cute. Another first on the mold for me. Which is kind of crazy that I didn't have a Zippo by now, but yeah, he's got leg stripes. His markings are like super crisp. I don't know why his are so perfect, because that almost never happens. <laughs> but yeah. His eyes are a little bit too dark on camera for you to see, but he actually has kind of more realistic pupils. Ronin's, if you'll notice, are kind of round, like most briars are, but... Ozzy's pupils are kind of more rectangular, like a real horse, which I thought is really cool. He's very bright. Alright, that is them. I got them for really good prices. Then, we went antiquing. And got these... Well, not these, it's just one horse. Got this lovely boy right here. And my mom, it's really funny, she has dyslexia, so the first thing she noticed when she, when I showed him to her, like, oh, look what we just bought, she said, oh, it says hi on him, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it does say hi on him, because, you know, they read backwards sometimes, people with dyslexia, they see things backwards, so I thought that was really awesome, so I call him High Horse, and he's super cute, I really love him. He was pretty beat up, but I was able to restore him a little bit. Not perfectly, of course, but he's super duper cute. He's my second on the mold. All right, and then we went to the Peter Stone Company for the first time a few weeks ago, and I couldn't afford an actual horse there because, you know, they're really expensive and I'm saving for briars but I did manage to get my first Peter Stone and right now he is a very rough looking body from their body box he's the Tennessee walking horse stallion that they have I'm going to clean him up and try to customize him though very carefully of course because I want him to look nicely done he's super nice though this is one of my favorite Peter Stone molds, and the company was awesome. I got some clips from the inside of it, so when I get the time, I'm going to edit those together if you guys would like that and show you a little bit of what the inside of the Peter Stone factory is like for those of you who have not been there. So yeah, I really love him. His name is going to be Faolan when I'm done with him, and he's actually super tall. He doesn't like to stand right now because he's a he got a little bit warped in the car. But yeah, he's really tall. 
And the same trip I got him on, there's a briar store nearby. And I decided to pick up a Brookside Pink Magnum. And I named this little guy Shorty. He's so cute. I'm so happy I finally got him. I've been after him since he ever came out, which was like, what, 2012? And he's just got the cutest little face, and he's so pink and purple. He's got these little markings, and his little tail fades. I just really love this little guy. He's so cute. And so tiny, like his name, Shorty, is so becoming of him, because he's so small. And then I got the newest horse, and the last horse I got today. I paid way more for him than I should have, but, you know, he's retired now, and I was having a hard time finding him in any of the stores. So I just decided to pay the shipping for him and spend a whop 50 bucks on him. But I don't regret it because he's beautiful. He's got very pretty brown eyes. He's one of the best of British ones, like Ronan. But yeah, the Connemara Pony is so pretty and I totally recommend it to anyone. He's my first on the mold as well, as is Phelan, of course. Oh, and I just love the long mane variation. I didn't used to want the Connemara Pony until I saw the long mane and tail version of him. And, oh, I just love this horse, or pony, I guess. I named him Thomas. He has got fantastic dapples and the stand's a little bit funky but yeah he's so stunning and yeah he's pretty tiny too but if you put him next to shorty right here he looks a lot bigger at the same time, they look very small next to someone like Ronan here. But yes, I am very happy with all of these horses. I did pay for all of them myself with money I earned from cleaning houses, etc. So yes, I love them all very very much and I will try to start uploading some of those videos I made very soon for you guys to watch. I also have some reviews coming out on a lot of my horses so stay in tune for those. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any requests and have a good day. Bye!